All right, hello, this is Mitchell. I'm doing a tutorial on how to um, make forms in Word. So first thing, open Word, um, we're gonna go to the ribbon um, over here on the right-hand side, go to ribbon preferences, and you're gonna come down on tab or group title, and you're gonna enable the developer tab. Click that, click okay. Um, The developer tab will show up here on the right hand side um, and this is where you can get all of your text box, checks box, combo box, um, and uh, where you can uh, record things in form. So I'm going to put a title on our uh, form. I use a lot of tables when I'm doing uh, forms and stuff, so uh, I, I just find that's the best way to keep things organized. I know this is really nerdy doing this as um, a video, but it's the best way and the quickest way I could figure out how to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to put in three lines for a table. Um, I'm going to go back to the developer tab, so I'll say name. I'm here on the I'm here on the developer tab. Oops, and I'm going to type in a uh, text box. So that'll put a text box. I'm going to put date. Click text box. And then on the last one, I'm going to put yes. Um, checkbox or no. Checkbox. checkbox. Um, what I'll often do, instead of putting um, a bunch of spaces in, um, I will put in two separate, or I'll uh, split the cells into two different cells. So number of columns, two, number of rows, one. That splits it into two. So then I can put yes. Checkbox and no checkbox and then I can rearrange how those look by doing that. Uh, it just helps keep it organized especially when you're putting a bunch of um, text into something. What I will do often is then I will go back and uh, highlight the entire table, go back to the home and then take off much of the, many of the borders so that it doesn't look necessarily like a table um, Sometimes I'll just put the bottom border on so that there's some kind of divider. So the next time, so the next form I want to start, I can do that. What you can also do is just do um, the inside borders, uh, and then you can highlight these two columns or this row here, and then take off the. Uh, let's see, what would it be? The vertical borders. So then you have three lines. Um, I hope that helps. I that's pretty much how I make all of my forms. I don't really use combo boxes, however you can use them. Um, and then add in yes, no, maybe. Um, you can the way that you use these, however, you have to protect the form. So like if I try to type something here, it just deletes that text box. Um, what has to happen though is you have to protect the form and this is found in the developer tab again so you protect the form then I can write within um, uh, these places date um, I don't actually know what the date is and then you can check these uh, and then this drop down box will say yes, no, maybe, and then that will give you the, um, the form. So I hope that helps. Um, let me know if you need any more. That should be a good um, start, though. Oh, last thing. However you save the form, um, so if I take all of these off, um, is how uh, it will show up the next time somebody, somebody uses this. So if I save this to my desktop, um, if I have it protected, then it will open in a protected form. And then I can type directly into these things. Uh, if I have it unprotected and close it and save it, it's going to open again as an, uh, as an unprotected form, which won't allow you to type in or check mark these boxes. It'll just act like they're some kind of object. So it's really easy on a Mac. It's harder on a PC to protect and unprotect, um, but it's really easy on Mac. The one thing is there's no spell check within these forms. So if I spell, I don't know, light 
or it will never um, it won't spell check that. Okay, uh, well, email me if you have any questions. Thanks.